You know, I used to play with Reggie, I used to be on a team with him, and uh, it was for a short time, a very, very short time. Team CLG was founded by uh, my brother Dan and also Hotshot, and at that point, um, you know, it, it just uh, consists, consists of the best players in League of Legends, right? What happened was, uh, like, Reggie didn't like being on a team with me, and then he decided to go off on his own way. There was some internal strife, uh, you know, so I just decided to leave and form my own team. And a really big reason why I did start Team TSM was to beat CLG. The rivalry was a really big deal at the start because it, it was just purely obvious that, um, you know, I did not like CLG and I did not like Hotshot. It was just purely based on the fact that we just didn't get along. Reggie's the type of guy that'll come like kick your sand castle and then take your sand. Like I'm, I'm just like the type of guy that'll sit in my corner and like make my own sand castle. And uh, they're two very different styles and we're like polar opposites in terms of uh, personality. So um, yeah. When we did compete against CLG years ago, when we went to a match, everyone on our team was super hyped up. Everyone was like, man, if I lose this CLG, I'm gonna be so sad for so long. And you know, people would be emotionally invested. With that kind of history of always competing for number one and number two, um, you know, there was rivalry between the players, between me, between Reggie. And then as time goes on, right, it just kept extending, like the players always butt heads. It's just like competition. Like you never want to be friends with your rival. Like what kind of fun is that? Against CLG, my sodium levels kind of go out of control. They just have TSM's number. Well, they're just free SM, you know? As far as I know, the only NA team that I'm worried about is Cloud9. The rest are non-existent, especially CLG. <laughs> crazy how much League has grown since then. When it started, it was like us playing Dinky online tournaments, and now we're playing at MSG. Like, it's crazy. Every single time we went back to New York to go compete, we'd always go by Madison Square Garden. Every time we'd go by, there'd be someone famous, you know, performing there. Never would I have ha imagined to be able to compete there, ever. Like, not in a lifetime. It's actually kind of funny to me that CLG and TSM are playing in the Grand Finals at MSG. It's almost like this scripted event, like you couldn't plan it any better. When I think about it, it's actually kind of ridiculous. For a long time now, the, the rivalry really has died down because of just straight up how poorly CLG has done for the last three years. CLG has been losing quite badly to TSM in the past while, so it'd be a good breath of fresh air to see, to see CLG win. Our players do really want to win. They, they do feel like there is a rivalry from the past. I think that if CLG starts to perform again and starts to play well again, maybe there'll be a rivalry back again. If CLG beats TSM, I think TSM fans are going to be real salty. So it'll kind of add a spark to the fire. If we were to take second in North America, we would consider that a failure. My players, my coaching staff, and everyone has worked extremely hard for this year. If we were to lose, I think that um, I'd be in tears. But at the same time, if we were to win, I think that it is going to be uh, another milestone that we've hit. Everything has been leading up to this moment, right? Good, CLG has had its best season so far. We're looking really strong going into the finals. But imagine we lost the grand finals. Like, what kind of story would that be? 